right away, I would say within a matter of weeks, we noticed, I noticed, an increase in the number of phone calls. We pretty much statisized everything around here and there was definitely an increase in phone calls. Referrals are great. In fact, we show you a checklist with over 60 items, it might be up to 90 now, of how to actually inspire even more referrals. There's only three ways, really, to increase your revenue. The first step is to increase the number of clients. It's the first way. The second way is to increase the size of transactions. And the third way is to increase the frequency of transactions. So the first step is to maximize what you're already doing. The second step is geometric growth. If you can get a 10% increase in clients from 10 different sources, you have grown your business or your client base by 100%. Step number three is to borrow successes. There are thousands of successful actions that other businesses are doing that you may have never even thought of doing. And when you incorporate the actions of other businesses that are successful that none of your competitors are doing, cause an explosion of inflow of clients. Hi, this is your next action checklist in referral marketing and I want to talk to you about the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your referrals will come from 20% of the people that you've serviced in the past. It'd be great if everybody got you one referral. And I've heard that, you know, if we could just get everybody to bring us one referral, my gosh, our firm or our practice would be huge. It's not going to happen. I'll tell you what's going to happen. You're going to get 80% quantity-wise and quality-wise of your best referrals from 20% of your clientele base. So why don't you concentrate on those people? You could go back the last two years, and I've done this many times, I've told people go back over the last two years and name out every single person, right? I did this with a, uh, an organization once and they found out that within two years out of about 1,300 members, only 170 of them actually sent a referral. Okay, so what we did is, while we continued to market to those 1,300 people through newsletters, through emails, we specifically called those 170 people and gave them the lion's share of our time. Why did we do that? Well, the reason why we did that is because we knew that those people were more willing to communicate, they were more willing to refer, they were more excited about our product. And guess what? When we started concentrating on those 170 people with specific mailings, with phone calls, with offers, with rewards, and saying, you know what? You're part of the 170 club. That really helped us make this organization what it is today. We have a great organization, and factually, there's a lot of people involved, but the 170 is what made it what it is today. You know what? It, it, they acknowledged them and they had pride in it and they wanted to do more. When people are acknowledged and they have pride, they want to do more. So you should do an analysis and go back and say, okay, where did my last 30, 40, or 50 best referrals come from? Go back a year or two and you'll find it came from a handful of people. Spend a lot of time with those people. Take those people out to lunch. Treat them like kings and queens that they are. And you know what? You're gonna get way more referrals and you're gonna be some of your best referrals. So again, apply the 80-20 rule to your marketing, spend while you continue to market to everybody, concentrate hard on those that are truly driving your best referrals, treat them like royalty, and you will get better referrals and more of them from that source. Okay, use your action checklist, and I hope you get more referrals this week.